we want to take a look at oxy acids. Now, if it's oxy, that means there's oxygen in our acid. So it's going to be anything that contains a polyatomic ion. There are two types of oxy acids. There are the ones that end in the ITE ending of a polyatomic ion and those that end in an ATE ending. Now, let's look at the ITE first. ITE is going to go to OUS. And how you can remember that is itis, like from biology if you have some kind of an itis. Um, if I have HNO2, I'm just going to name that. Now, I know it starts with an H, so it's an acid. So NO2 is nitrite. So it's going to be nitrous, and then I'm going to add the word acid. Now I have HClO3. It starts with an H again, so I know it's an acid. And ClO3 is hypochlorite. So I'm going to change the ITE to OUS, so this is going to be hypochlorous acid. Now, what happens if I need to go the other way? Let's say that I give you chlorous acid. Well, chlorous came from chlorite, and chlorite is ClO2. And I know that it starts with an H. Now, the charge on hydrogen is always a plus 1. The charge on the ClO2 is a minus 1. So this becomes HClO2Aq. Now, what about this hypobromous acid? Well, bromus means it came from bromite, so hypobromite. And what does hypobromite look like? Well, it's BrO3 with a minus 1 charge. We've got hydrogen with a plus 1 charge. And they cancel one another out, so we're just going to squish them together. And add a Q. The second type of polyatomic ions that we want to look at end in ATE. And if it ends in ATE, you're going to change the ending to IC. And the way that I remember this is if you ate it, it was icky. Just think of little kids. They eat something, they go, ugh, that's just icky. So that's how I remember it. Now, let's start with a one like HClO4. Well, ClO4 is perchlorate. So it's going to be perchloric acid. Now, H2CO3. CO3 is carbonate, so the ATE has to go to I6 to ic, so this is going to be carbonic acid. Now, I've got phosphoric acid, so it ends in the IC, so that means it came from the ATE, so phosphate. What does that look like? Well, that's PO4 with a minus 3 charge. I know it starts with hydrogen, and I know hydrogen has a plus one. Uh-oh, they're different, so what are you going to do? That's right, you're going to cross these, so you get H3PO4 aqueous, and the chromium, chromic, comes from ATE, so we're looking for the chromate ion, which is CrO4 with a minus two charge. We've got hydrogen as the plus one, they're different again, so I'm going to have to crisscross again. H2CRO4AQ. Now, 